Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace in sunny, just kidding, it's raining again in true Crystal Palace fashion. Orlando, Florida, we're here at Universal Orlando for the opening day of Universal Holidays. We're not starting here, we're going over to Islands of Adventure, so let's go, we gotta get Grinchmas. So new this year, there is absolutely no virtual queue. As you can see, here's the standby line for Meet the Grinch at Honk Honkers. Now, it is 8.24 in the morning. The park is not even open yet, people, and <laughs> this is the line already. It's early park admission, so this is like a big change to your plans that you might be wanting to think about if you're coming for the holidays. And it may not look like that many people right now, but it honestly is going to be a pretty long wait. So right now we're going to be waiting about 40 minutes, and then once the Grinch starts, he really takes his time with people, which is good because you know, you wait so you get your time with the Grinch. So now that it's a standby line, I can't imagine how long it's gonna be during the day. This is early park admission. So only people who are staying on site and Universal Orlando annual pass holders can enter during early park admission. And not everybody's going right to the Grinch. You know, if you're coming here for the first time, you're gonna be wanting to go to Hagrid's. But now for the holidays, it's a game changer. If you wanna meet the Grinch, I really, really, really recommend doing it during early park admission and if you only have one day here Hagrid's and then come to the Grinch and the show times are posted for the Grinchmas holiday spectacular so you're gonna get 10 15 11 15 12 15 1 15 3 30 4 30 5 30 6 30 and make sure you arrive early for this because they will not let you in if they're at capacity and it's very popular it's gonna fill up here is the new Grinch sipper how cute is this $18 here in Snookers and Snookers Sweet Candy Cookie Store, they do have some holiday treats. They have the ornament in a jar, cake, and that you can find over in the tribute store as well. So they put it in here. They have a gingerbread cookie with Christmas sprinkles, and they have a Grinch cupcake for about $7. They had this last year, but here's the Grinch popcorn bucket. All right, the line has officially moved. Hi, <laughs> there's my friend Megan Moose. The line has moved across the street right there. And that looks like it's gonna, gonna wrap around. Oh yeah, see the ropes? 909, the first group has gone in. So that was a four minute interaction there. All right, the next group was about three minutes. So think about like three to five minutes per group. 9.58, we're the next group after these people to go. Oh. Ah! One second. <laughs> Doing... ah! hey, you wanna join? Come. Okay, are you doing some jazzercise? Jazzercise, baby! Jazzercise, I love this. And go! And one, go! And I got seven! I love this workout. And 13! <laughs> and 100! Wow! Hold, 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 okay, hold. okay. We're the llama going to the Christmas tree, and we're the star! Ooh, that, was that was a good workout, oh, Mr. Grant. You you're, a pleasure to see you. You're in great shape, now I know it? why. All I want for Christmas is donuts! Donuts. Donuts. Have you ever had a donut? Oh, a circle with a hole in the middle? Yep. Never. 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 They're, no, they're no. delicious. You have to try them one day. Oh, did you? I know. I should have brought them for you. How, how are you going to wear a shirt talking about something I've never had and then not bring it for me to try? You know what? Maybe next time. I'll be here. An onion flavored. Oh, an onion. My favorite. A nice little snack for the afternoon. An onion flavored donut. Stop it. They make those. Yeah, for you. Just especially You're gonna for You're going to get you. a custom donut made for what? Yes. Only for you, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Do you like my sleigh? I love it. It we looks so hard. great the in here. The decorated, but I took care of the decorations on the sleigh. I can show you how I did the lights. Okay, so let's see. Come, I'll show you. You do it with me. Okay. So you take your lights, ball them up, ball them up, ball them up. Take the lights, and yes. And we take them and we throw. It's part of my jazz Yeah. There you go. You like that, right? Yes. That's how I got this droop right here. <laughs> So I have an idea. I thought it was good for a photo. I've been taking photos next to it all day. If you'd like to join me, you're welcome to stand here. I would love and to. And I can act shocked or surprised or whatever you need. Okay, this was great. Thank okay. you so much. How do you want to act for the, for the, for the film? Surprised? Surprised? Yes. Are we surprised <laughs> at each other? Oh, at... <laughs> Look into my eyes. <laughs> and one like this, like we're friends and we're putting friends. on a show. Yay! <laughs> uh-huh. That was phenomenal. Thank you so much. Yeah, Mr. I want to show you something cool. Read okay. this right here. Get out! Get out! All right, I'm out. I'll, Happy holidays. I'll be back with sparkle. donuts. I'll be here. Okay. <laughs> it's 10 12. We're walking over, fast walking, to try to catch the holiday spectacular. <laughs> Here 
here at Hop on Pop Ice Cream Shop. You can find some holiday treats. Here's what you can get here. The Grinch Hot Chocolate Bomb, or you could get the bomb a la carte. So if you just want the heart, you could get the Grinch Green Sugar Cookies for $3.79. We got these last year. I'll insert footage right here of us trying them out. They're pretty good, these cookies. See, they're a little moist inside with the powdered sugar on top. It's just really a sugar cookie. So if you're a plain eater, you're definitely gonna like this one. You can get the Grinch ice cream sandwich or the holiday punch, which is festive tropical sour apple punch. So all of this they did have last year, including the heart on a pillow, Grinch's heart on a pillow, which you can now get at Croissant Moon Bakery. They just spread it out a little bit. Hop on Pop opens at 11 a.m. So that Grinch meet and greet, you can buy photos at the end. Make, they make the lighting really bad in there so that you kind of have to buy the photos because the photos with your phone don't come out that great. But if you want a digital download, that's an additional $10 on top of the price it is to print out the picture. And the weather is nice. You can find who's walking around Seuss Landing. I like your outfit. I like your outfit. You look oh. great. <laughs> it's from Louis Vuitton. Oh, no way. Yeah, it's Oh, girl! Yeah, you're stunning in those. Oh, you're you're lucky. Oh, you got the money. We don't know when that's coming. And what's better than getting some rich cotton candy? We're headed out of Islands of Adventure, but later on at night, starting at dusk, the Hogwarts Christmas nighttime show is returning to Hogsmeade. So that's going to be awesome to see that again. It, that Christmas show is always amazing. Home to the Grinch breakfast is Confisco Grill. They actually did release the menu for the Grinch breakfast. It's a buffet. Pretty much all of the reservations are already sold out. So if you don't have one already, you probably, this won't pertain to you, but this is where you can meet the Grinch and friends during the character breakfast. Here they have a happy holidays freestyle cup. Look how cute this one is for this year. That's adorable. I like this. Ooh, scan code for our Santa experience. We're here in Croissant Moon Bakery because they do have some treats. They have the butter pecan Christmas tree, which you can't. There you go. And Grinch's heart on a pillow. Here we go into the pillow. Ooh, the inside of the pillow is a mascarpone cake. It's super light and fluffy, like a, almost like a mousse. It has a vanilla flavor to it. The heart is a red velvet cake with white chocolate. <laughs> I'm trying to break it open with white chocolate coating. So let's dig into this. All right, I think I like the heart the best. That white chocolate shell. And look at the cake, it looks very moist. Yeah, the heart was good. Vegan cookie butter snowflake. Oatmeal spiced bunt cake. We should have taken the Hogwarts Express over because look at this line. Here's Earl's sleigh. This is where you're gonna be able to meet Earl the Squirrel. Look at how cute it is. Here in Battery Park, they do have holiday treats up at the stand right here. Sandwiches, ooh, s'mores, a cheeseburger, Earl's acorn bomb, hot chocolate, an eggnog bar. We ran into another friend, Xavier from Thrills taste travels food blog make sure to go check them out because they are amazing and xavier what is your favorite food item from here so far okay so the grilled cheese is really good i definitely enjoy the uh, butternut squash soup that is really good um vegan option they have here the vblt that's also a great option all look amazing yeah. thanks xavier yep. We're running into all the friends today. He's everywhere. He's all over the park. I'm everywhere? You are everywhere. I am. If you, I, I'm John Self. If you want to find me, I'm, you can find me on Twitter at Pastor John Self. It's, you never know where you'll find my stuff. They're trying out all the good food here. We are trying. And, Thanks so much, and We John. started with the sweets, and I'm not sure I'm going to survive because I'm old. <laughs> all right, so here we got the butternut squash. Butternut, butternut squash soup. We've got a creamy tomato soup. This is the grilled cheese with bacon jam. This is the turkey sandwich. We're going to call it Make It Simple. A press s'more, vegan BLT. Here is a seasonal holiday cookie butter crepe. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna get this. Thank you so much. All right, I got my $11.50 $11 crepe. I hope it's good. It sounds pretty good. It sounds like it's gonna taste like a Biscoff. All right, I feel like it's um, eh, 
an iffy start to the day. Uh, we did meet the Grinch, so that was good. We waited a while, and now it's raining. Again. But we're out here grinding, you know, on the Crystal Palace. We're always gonna brave the weather, always gonna brave the rain. Anyway, here is the holiday cookie butter crepe. All right, let's try out. This is a shortbread cookie. That's pretty good. The crepe is good too. They're hard to eat. That's what I thought. It's like Biscoff, which is my favorite. So this is good. Crystal Palace approved. Okay, this is the cinnamon cookie butter mascarpone down in here. So make sure you get down in here to try that because that's good. One of the best parts about opening days of events is meeting up with amazing friends. Here's Hi my guys. friend Megan Moves. Be sure to go check her out on YouTube because you won't want to miss out on all the fun. She's from the Northeast like yeah. me and does a bunch of different theme parks, Disney, Universal, all that fun stuff. So Absolutely. We're, we're having a good time we're, in the rain We're here. staying dry. We're trying. So. <laughs> thanks, Megan. Yes, thanks, Crystal. <laughs> Megan is awesome. Be sure to go check her out. Um, I think we're gonna get some lunch inside somewhere because it is coming down the rain. It's it's not letting up. We're not gonna meet Earl, so let's carry on. Pro tip, if Finnegan's is busy and there's no seats, you can eat at the bar or in the bar area. So here we are right now. You just order your food at the bar and I guess they'll bring it out here. Um, I'm honestly kind of glad it's raining because I can show you all what it's like visiting Universal Holidays in the rain in case this happens to you. If you want to check out Universal Christmas not in the rain, watch my video from last year. That's the full experience meeting characters like Earl and Patrick Star. The day's not over yet, but just wanted to give my thoughts on the rain. So This has quickly become one of my favorite meals in all of Universal. Shepherd's Pie at Finnegan's. It's huge but it's delicious. It has stopped raining. Please, please stop now. Forever, for good. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Woo. Oh, here we go. Because of the rain, they're staying on the ground today, but make sure to catch the Beat Builder show. They do some fun Christmas things up on the scaffolding too. And it just started raining again. Merry Christmas. Or should I say, Merry Rain Miss. They also have Earl's tree hunt that you can do during the holidays. You see in there, they have a Christmas tree. And with the tree hunt, you get a little um, prize, which is an ornament and a map. And you can go around and find all the different themed trees around Universal. It's pretty cool. And that's a fee, of course. I think it's about $11. We made it to Diagon Alley. We are here in Sugar Plums. And they do have a fun little holiday no melt ice cream so this isn't really an ice cream so it's like a frosting consistency the no melt ice cream so the show is delayed not sure how long the delay is gonna be but uh i think it stopped raining for the most part so hopefully it'll, it'll come out soon all right so the show has been canceled but make sure to check this one out during the holidays you can see some snow up here in diagon alley um, maybe we'll catch it the next time so the stage is actually fully undercover, but I guess because of the stairs, the stairs are a little wet, they, they're not gonna do it, which is so sad because this is all dry, but you know, for the safety of the performers, they have to cancel it. Strike two. We're actually at like strike 500 right now, but uh, you know, three strikes, you're out. So we're back at two. My potato stand is finally getting some love here. They actually have a special potato for the holidays. It's not up on the menu, but you could try out the sweet potato here. And y'all know how much I love the potato. This is the best snack. They're out of potatoes. They are out of potatoes. Didn't I just say two strikes? Two and a half? This is two and a half? They're out of potatoes. Moving on. Had to go to the bathroom. The bathrooms are closed. No, I'm just kidding. But it just seems like today we are striking out, but we're making the most of it. People, you know, uh, you just gotta laugh at some point and be like, it's one of those days, but at least y'all are, are coming along with me on this journey and I appreciate you. So give this video a like. There are the trolls. Well, that's a good sign. At least some characters are out. They're not in any of their Christmas gear, but that's a good sign for the rain. Oh, and there's Beetlejuice. We want Earl. We want Earl. We're waiting for Earl. We're waiting for Earl. Also, the Earl meet and greet times are posted in the Universal app. What's great is that they really try to get the characters out. So when it stops raining and it's if you're in the clear, the ground dries a little bit, they're going to get the characters out if they can. So good job, Universal, on that. Waiting for Earl. 
waiting for Earl. It's not raining. It's not raining. I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. I feel it drizzling. If it starts raining right when Earl's about to come out, I'm gonna throw up. It's raining. It's raining. We waited 25 minutes and it's raining. And I don't think Earl's gonna come out now. You actually can't make it up today. And then my plan was to go to the 130 Blues Brothers show, but now it started raining right at the time, so we're not going to be able to do that either. Earl, please. Rain gods, please. Please stop. Please. Here goes the Blues Brothers. It's raining harder, so Earl's not coming out. The Blues Brothers did a U-turn. They're going back in. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Of how this is a new challenge. How many things could get canceled on us today for Universal Holidays? That that's that's the theme of this video. Oh, it's coming down now. This is unreal. Hey, they're working on DreamWorks Land in the rain. Look at them go. So Patrick's meeting, but he's not in his Christmas attire either. Last year was so fun meeting him. He was dressed as a Christmas tree. You know the song, Let It Snow? I think they meant Let It Rain, because the weather outside is very frightful. One of my favorite parts about all the Universal holiday events, Halloween, Mardi Gras, Christmas, is the tribute store. And this year's tribute store over in the Hollywood section of the park might be one of my favorites, the tribute store and post. There's so much attention to detail, like look at these stamps and the old rides, like Dueling Dragons, the Monsters Cafe, the Nighttime Spectacular. These are the aliens from Men in Black Alien Attack, Jaws, <laughs> you got Earl there. I really like the merchandise this year, looks great. This closet looks like my attic. <laughs> if you didn't watch my live stream, be sure to go watch it because we do like a full tour of the tribute store. We hang out in here for a little bit. So if you're interested in seeing more of this tribute store, which look at it, it's so amazing. Be sure to go check that out. Well, no matter what, I'm happy that I could share with you the real theme park experience of being here at Universal Orlando. We're out here in the park all day, early park admission. So don't be disappointed if this happens to you or you can't do something. Just know that you're not the only one and everything is not always sunshine and rainbows as it may seem in other instances. By the way, over in Islands of Adventure, the Grinch meet and greet is up to about a three hour wait. Also, if you're looking to come to Universal for the holidays, you can get discounted Universal Orlando tickets with theparkprodigy.com and they're also going to run some Black Friday deals next week, which is awesome. You can also use the Crystal Palace 10 for additional savings at checkout. Don't forget to use that code to save even more money and come visit Universal for the holidays. To top off the day, Minion Blast is delayed. Woo! Merry Christmas. Rip Ride is of course closed because of the weather. Here are the other wait times, but Gringotts and Minion Blast are down. All right, we're gonna try for the third time to meet Earl. And if that doesn't happen, then, then we're out. And I don't think it's gonna happen. They're already setting up for the parade too, so. All right, it's literally not raining. No signs of Earl. Uh, three strikes, you're out. Let's get out of here. All right, you guys, honestly, I, I have to get out of the rain, so I'm gonna insert some clips from the parade last year. It's pretty much the same exact parade, so my tip is to get your spot as early as you can. This area is gonna be the most popular. I personally love I personally love sitting in Hollywood. I That's just my favorite spot to watch the parade. Get there early, and then you can maybe hop over to Islands of Adventure and catch that Christmas show. After that, if you hurry, because they close that show at park close. So tonight the park closes at seven, so that'll end at seven. Thank you guys for watching. It's uh, it's it's been it's been an experience, but I appreciate you coming along with me and enjoying the park together. Give this video a like and subscribe to the Crystal Palace for more fun adventures. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.